Yeah, who would have guessed this at the start of the year? I, I a lot of people thought it might be Dublin, Tyrone again, but we've got Kerry and Mayo. And, and you know, plenty of people will argue and, and, and they'll make valid arguments for saying that Kerry are far too short here because obviously Mayo went to Kerry earlier on in the league, you know, it was round six. Uh, they went to Tralee and they won by two points, one ten to eleven points, and you know they they fully deserved that two point win. But I just think it might be a little bit foolish to read too much into that because I thought Kerry had won their first five games. They had one step in the final already, and it just wasn't the high energy Kerry performance that we've been used to seeing. I think you'll see a completely different Kerry side this time. I think the key thing here could be to look at last week against Roscommon. David Clifford started his first game of the league. He came back. He was fresh. He was. He was all action. He scored five points. He looked better than ever. He just looked unstoppable, so he did. James O'Donoghue came on for the last 20 minutes and scored a point. And when you add those two players into Stephen O'Brien, who scored 1-2 in that game, the rejuvenated Tommy Walsh, who's been a terrific target man throughout the league, and you've got yourself a really, really exciting attacking unit. The key thing for Kerry is that all for the last decade, their, their forward line has been nothing to worry about. They've always had the Gooch, they've always had Donny, they've always had Paul Gini, they've always been able to score. But the new management t- structure has come in and they've decided that basically defence is what they need to start out. And you look at the difference between their 2019 league campaign and their 2018 league campaign, and it's light years apart. They've only conceded 92 points in total this year. Last year, they conceded 127 points in the same amount of games. So they've conceded 35 less points this time around. They conceded 10 goals last year. They've only conceded 10 or 4 goals this year. So it's a huge it's a huge difference. And two of those 4 goals that they conceded this year were against Dublin. This is a different Kerry side to the one we've, we've seen for the last couple of years. They're more solid at the back. And again, they've got those forwards, like I mentioned, with Clifford O'Donoghue, Stephen O'Brien, the Guineas, Tommy Walsh. With all those there, I think Kerry have got a package now that's able to compete for All-Ireland honours. And Mayo have done terrifically well to reach a league final. I don't think James Horan James Horan thought this was possible when he came back into the fold. I just think this could be a step too far for Mayo. I actually think the handicap should be bigger. I think Kerry are going to win this comfortably. I think Kerry minus two is a great bet. I think Kerry to lead at half time and full time in 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 the um, double odds market. I think that's 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 the bet as well. So I, I'd be I'd be pretty confident that we're going to see a, a landslide Kerry victory here.